Are you ever troubled by the fact that historical figures and events don't seem to measure up to our moral standards today? Do you feel conflicted when you read about someone, someone you admire and have taken as a role model, who did or believed in something we might consider wrong today? Well, you're not alone. In fact, this tendency to impose our modern day morals on historical figures or events is called anachronistic sanctimony. Anachronistic meaning taking things out of their time and sanctimony meaning feeling better about yourself, feeling holier than thou. And it can prevent us from understanding history and historical figures in the right way. In this video, we'll delve into examples of people and historical events who are judged by today's standards without taking into account the social, political and cultural norms of the past. So buckle up and get ready to explore the complexity of history and morality. It's easy to look back and say how could they have done that or why did they do this? Didn't they know better? But it's important to remember that our current day moral codes and beliefs have developed over a long period of time through various changes. And what we consider wrong today might not have been wrong in the past or the vice versa. What we consider right today might have been wrong in the past. Let's take Christopher Columbus as an example. Christopher Columbus was the one who discovered America. He set sail from Spain to find a shorter route to India, but he stumbled upon America. He is often criticized for the way he dealt with the indigenous people. But it's important to remember that during his time, the concept of human rights didn't exist as it exists today. European countries were fighting for resources and territory, and colonization and conquest were seen as a necessary means to dominance. Columbus himself believed that he was sent on a mission from God to spread Christianity and to bring civilization to these uncivilized people. While we can condemn his acts today, but it is important to understand during his time the norms were very different to what we believe in today. Take note of various things that we believe in today, that we accept as the norm. It might not have been the case all throughout history. It would be wrong to believe that the morals that we have today will be the same 100 years from now, 200 years from now or even 500 years from now. The same is the case 100 years before or 500 years before or even 1000 years before. The morals were completely different. So today in the morning when I wake up I have my coffee with milk. And 200 years from now, the cultural norm would be that having milk or animal products is looked down upon and it's morally incorrect. So am I wrong today to drink that coffee with my milk or am I, am I correct? I would say I'm correct in my current time because it's the norm today to have milk. Similarly, it would be wrong to criticize Aristotle for his views on women. The times in which he lived is very different to the times today. We need to acknowledge the patriarchal norms and belief of ancient Greek society. Another example is the founding fathers of America. We cannot criticize them for owning slaves because that was legal and widely accepted during their time. However, we can criticize some people who were very cruel to their slaves which was not the normal during that time. Another one that is brought in very often is the marriage of the Prophet peace be upon him to Aisha. During his time, his peers and even his enemies didn't feel like it was abnormal for him to marry Aisha. But we cannot sit today and impose our moral silence on that time because we need to consider the historical context of the Arabian Peninsula at that time, the social norms during the time. What's happening today is a lot of historical figures, statues are being demolished or removed from public space because they used to own slave or they used to believe in something that we don't agree with today. I feel this is not appropriate since during their time it was considered completely normal, legal and even accepted widely and they had done a lot of good to the society and blaming them for some actions which during their time it was completely okay to do, it's not something that can be looked down upon. To give you an example outside history, let's look at sports as well. So nowadays how high jump is done is using the Fosbury flop. That is not you know completely jumping over the fence. So using this method to get over the fence. Now before Dick Fosbury introduced this method, everybody was doing it in a different way. Going back to these athletes and telling them why didn't they do it in a better way? Didn't they know better? Couldn't they have figured out? Imposing our moral judgment of them for being poor and not being good enough. It's absurd. That's not the way we go about. So similarly for historical figures, we cannot impose our current day morals on them. But what about imposing righteousness? If somebody was really good, can we impose righteousness of them? 
Of course we can. If somebody is being virtuous outside of their time, outside of the norms of their society, they are even more virtuous. But of course, when we judge people on their own time, we can give harsh judgments. For example, Napoleon brought back slavery into the French society after it was abolished during the French Revolution. So using this, we can look back at Napoleon and judge him harshly. So how can we avoid falling into the trap of anachronistic sanctimony? So one way is to understand historical figures and events in the proper context. So this means being informed, learning about the social, the economic, the cultural, the political situation of each era and how the society behaved during that era. So we can also be aware of our own biases and assumptions and recognize that our moral codes and beliefs are not timeless. A sub to the channel would be very helpful. So I caught this topic from Naseen Taleb. So he had a Twitter post about the same. The link to his post is in the description. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.